Good afternoon everybody, it's the 15th of October and after an epic night of severe weather, there was a severe weather warning on our phone, uh, we arrived at Azilia, Pralia Agilias and this is the view from our little park up. Let me show you around, it is incredible. So here's the little park, we're right on the edge of the water. I think probably in terms of stunning scenery, one of the best. Loads of little islands that we can swim out to. Stunning, stunning, stunning views. So we're very happy. This is 15 euros a night with electricity. It's almost embarrassing compared to UK prices. Tenny and Junie have made camp just here. We've got the Alantor up. One downfall. There's lots of flies. Uh, there has to be a price to pay, I guess. And then we're just here. There's nobody else here. A uh, German Leica, interestingly enough, has just arrived. So that's quite nice. We've got company. There is a little taverna here. Apparently the food on Park Night says it's basic, but still good. And we're just about to take the sea dew down and go adventurizing under the water. So we're gonna, next time you see us, we'll be on the beach and we'll be having a swim. Welcome back to the channel everybody. We have dropped onto Lefkada Island. So we travelled across, it was about an hour from our last park up and we are on Lefkada. This is a park up, a free park up that we found on Park for Night called Praia Lefkula. I think that's it, Tony will put the name underneath as I say it. It's absolutely simply stunning. Let me do a little pano. So we've parked just at the top of this little walkway here and this is the beach and we're going for a little adventurising. Now we've come to Lefkada particularly because it's a favourite of Tony and I's and we wanted to show it to Julie and Tony. Um, sadly we've been desperately trying to find a campsite so we can stay for a week and then we were going to hire a car and then we were going to just go about the island. The problem is that nearly all the campsites are closed. Is this the ancient road? Somebody once thought it was valuable enough to build a stone wall to keep it up. We have arrived at Camping Village, Episcopos, and it leaves a lot to be desired. It's one of the only campsites open at this time of year on Lefkas Island down there and when we first pulled in we thought it was shut it is open and some very nice little old man came and sorted us out we paid 20 euros for the night including electric it's not all that we will only be staying for one night so this is the beach when you cut through from the campsite it's still a little bit popular at this time of year but we're off in search of a drink let's go Tony's in we couldn't resist the lure I don't blame him. I'm going to put money on it, Julie's next. It's really nice. Missed! Oh, no. Oh, why did we not just do that? Better! We spent the night here at this very secluded campsite. We were bitten to death by mosquitoes. It's time to move on. So we're going to leave Lefkada Island, sadly, we're really sad about it, but we just can't find anywhere to park. Good morning. 
Today we woke up in Arta. We came inland by about 40 kilometers to a old town apparently. It's got a castle and it's got a very old bridge. We are in a free park up which is right by the lake just here joined by a fellow camper late last night. It's lovely, lots and lots of the locals come here and walk round and round at night, jog, walk, run, meet, chat. There was football practice over in the football fields right behind us here. It's about 8 p.m. last night, probably earlier actually, because it got dark. Bridge is out of action, unfortunately, but what they do have here, which is quite unique, is they have a lot of geese, which the locals come and feed. So we've prepared some bread, we've moistened it, got it all ready, and we're gonna go and try and feed the geese. Let's see how we get on this morning. At last, we have hit somewhere worth staying. We are at Voltas Beach, which is just around the cove from Praga. It's walkable, it's about 20 minutes on foot. I think it's just up over that little road there and the cove, Praga's on the other side. We're in a really nice little campsite, which we'll show you later, called Camping Voltas, which is lovely, cozy really friendly and we're very happy there. We're going to stay for about five nights, we think. So this is the beach, still cafes and bars open. It's a little busy hub, which is quite nice. So we're just going adventurizing and to uh, see what we can see. I'm going to try the water. Julie's trying the water, everyone. Yeah, it's cool, but I think it wants to be in the dry. That's a lovely castle just up on that crop there. I think we should be going for a little walk around there. My heart's thanking me now. <laughs> That's some steep climb. And there on the other side of the bay is Parga. Oh, it's lovely, really lovely. <sighs> Lots of tavernas down there. Come on, slow coaches. Going in, it says visiting the castle is your own responsibility. So we go. What's out the window? And here we are in the castle at our own risk. That's lovely, isn't it? Stunning. Is that? Absolutely stunning. And you probably can't see this on the GoPro, but just there is a tiniest island with a little church on it. So this is where we were yesterday, up in the castle, and now we're down in Parga Harbour. It's, it's lovely. It would definitely be somewhere I'd come again. What do you think about Parga, hun? It's lovely boats, yeah. It's lovely loads of restaurants. Lots of bricks here. There is, are. But that's really nice and imposing, that uh, the castle. The castle's you can, fantastic. You can actually walk out to the island. I'm not too sure if you I'm can. I'm loving this little island here, this tiny yeah. one. You can walk, I think you can walk out. I mean, it looks really sandy, right? Yeah. You can walk out there, but I'm not going to try it, so no. I you should. He's going to see if he can get to the island. It's coming back. Just there. Swim, forest, swim. Right, 6 foot 12, uh, 5 foot 12. 